This is it. I'm doing it. Ready? Here I go. Take one for my intro. Hey everyone, welcome to my new YouTube series. It's called Me Eating Hot Dogs. Um, this is basically a result of me being enormously bored during this uh, self-quarantine. And so I figured I would eat the hot dogs that are sitting in my freezer here and I will eat them and I will rate them. And when I run out of those hot dogs, I will go out and acquire more hot dogs at the risk of my own life in order to deliver entertainment, if this is entertaining at all. So, all right, so here's what we're doing. We are going to, as I said, eat and rate hot dogs. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is tell you about what a hot dog is. I know everyone's out there saying, I know what a hot dog is, but I'm going to define it for this series because I actually think it's something very specific. A hot dog is, the hot dog I'm going to be eating is a kosher style hot dog. It's basically an all beef hot dog. There is no um, milk in it. There's no veal in it. There's no um, pork in it. And all those other things are much more like a German style hot dog or a German style wiener or whatever you want to call it. Frankfurter. Um, I'm talking about a very specific type of hot dog that showed up in Coney Island around the beginning of the 20th century, right? Um, and so kind of classic hot dog. And um, I will, that's, that's what I'll be eating. So don't, don't think you'll be seeing anything else besides that kind of hot dog. And that was terrible. But okay, let's move on. Uh, rating. I'm going to rate the hot dogs based on a one to five scale. One being the uh, worst hot dog you've ever had. It is unpalatable to five, which is, uh, you know, God's gift to hot dogs, an angel of hot dogs, right? So best hot dog you've ever had. All right. So um, how will I be consuming them? Um, I will eat them plain. Okay. I will have a plain hot dog on a bun, right? I'm on a bun. I'm not an animal. I'm going to eat them on a bun. That's what a hot dog should be consumed on. Um, but before I do that, I just want to also mention um, how you're supposed to eat a hot dog. I'm just going to tell you right now, um, there's really only four ways to eat a hot dog. Um, plain, with mustard, with sauerkraut, with mustard and sauerkraut. That's it. That's it. And if you are putting ketchup on your hot dog and you're over the age of 10, I would suggest you just turn this off and never touch a hot dog again. Uh, I don't really even want to hear. I mean, that's just a travesty. Also, anyone that enjoys other weird things on hot dogs like uh, like celery salt and, uh, and crap like that, I, I mean, it's fine. I mean, God bless, but uh, uh, that's like regional stuff. That's like uh, Detroit style pizza or, I don't know, just not for me. All right, just hot dog is a hot dog. I'm going to eat a plain for the rating so that I can tell you the flavors. And then, um, you know, um, also I'll be cooking them the same way. I'm going to kind of parboil them and then I'm going to kind of brown them a little bit so that, that, that uh, I don't know, I get the best of both worlds of grilling and, uh, and boiling. Some are better grilled, some are better boiled. We'll talk about it. All right, enough of that. Been on way too long. I'm sure there'll be multiple cuts that you'll see because I can barely keep myself composed. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go through our first rating right now. We're going to take, we're going to take this, this right here. It's going to be the baseline here. We're going to baseline everything on this one right here. Hebrew National Hot Dog. Available in almost every grocery store possible. Is this hot dog? Hopefully you guys can get it or somebody can, you can get this thing. This is like a classic, if I'm going to the grocery store and I have to pick up hot dogs, this is likely what I'd end up picking up. So we're going to start with this. So let's get started. So as I stated, we're going to start off our, uh, our glorious tasting event here by tasting uh, Hebrew National Hot Dogs, which are a kind of a classic hot dog that you'd find in all grocery stores, at least the ones that I go to. I always can, uh, I know that at, a, at the least I can pick up a package of Hebrew National. Hebrew National Hot Dogs are, in my opinion, higher level of other, other hot dogs that you find at the grocery store. Mostly because in Hebrew National hot dogs, they don't use certain types of sweeteners in it. 
Um, most hot dogs, if you want to understand the quality level of the hot dog, all you have to do is look at the ingredients. And if you see that there is dextrose or some type of sugar or sweetener close to the top of that ingredient list, it's mostly, it's going to, it's going to be a little, it's going to have that sweet taste that I don't really like in a hot dog. You find that in a lot of ballpark hot dogs, that kind of overly sweet flavor. Um, Huber National does, does not have it. There's not even any sugar in the hot dog itself. Huber National is, I was talking to you earlier about uh, being kosher style. Uh, Hebrew National is considered by a lot of people to be kosher. There's actually a little kosher sign here. That means that an organization uh, um, deemed it kosher. There's a little bit of controversy around the kosherness of Hebrew National Hot Dog. If you really care about that, I'm sure you can just kind of Google, do the Google there, Google the internet, and find out more information about it. Well, that's not what we're talking about now. We're talking about um, the type of hot dog it is. It's okay. So it's kind of a small hot dog. You can take a look at it. It's kind of, if it's snuggled up in this little bun here, nice, uh, nice here. It doesn't go, it's not too large of a hot dog, um, which I like. It's got a good ratio. Um, it's skinless. Um, almost all hot dogs that are made um, in a, any kind of mass amount are going to be skinless. That means that it doesn't have a casing. A casing would be, you know, you stuff a sausage into like a hog casing. With hot dogs, you stuff them into like sheep or lamb casing, much thinner. And that's what, when you have a really good hot dog, that lends a, a kind of a snap that is kind of desirable. I like that. Uh, but Hebrew National doesn't have that. It's a, it's a skinless hot dog. It has no no uh, casing at all. There's another type of casing too called a collagen casing, which we'll go into when we try a hot dog that has collagen casing. But we try this hot dog. Um, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. We good? I'm gonna go for it. All right, here I go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a take a bite of this thing. And I'm gonna let you know what I think. Here I go. All right. It's a very familiar hot dog to me, so I'm not gonna lie. Salty, garlicky, great flavor. Maybe one of the best tasting hot dogs that's not in a casing. That's good, that's good. That was a good solid bite right there. See, here's another thing. Five, five bites, that's what a hot dog should take you. Really shouldn't eat more than that. Five full bites, that's good, all right. Rating wise, I'm gonna give it 3-1. Let's start with that, Hebrew National. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Me eating hot dog.